The following dramatization, although fictionalized, was inspired by an actual event. Stars, and I felt something crawl over my chest. And I froze, not breathing, until it could crawl away. Then I looked. It was a tiger snake, one of the deadliest snakes in the world. Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> what were you left for? Well, I can tell you. No, no it wasn't funny. <laughs> Stay right there. Stay right there. Dangerous in here, like the outback. Oh, I got it. Looks good. Thanks, mate. Don't mention it, cowboy. Hey, hey, over here, over here. Hey, mate, you're ignoring me, friend. Right here. Right here. What can I get you? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> I do. Thanks, but I think you were flirting with a punch in the nose there. From him or your boyfriend? Hey, see ya. Have a nice time. You know those clowns? Nope. Good. And by the way, uh, Tad isn't my boyfriend. We, uh, we just work together. We drove in from Sacramento. In fact, there's a group of us over there. You're welcome to join us and tell us all about life and death in the outback. You already heard my best whopper. You're not Australian. The accent was my costume. <laughs> hmm. So why are you giving it up now? I don't know. I just uh, didn't feel like putting you on. Well, I have a confession to make. I'm not a real cowboy. No kidding. You can still join my friends and I if you want. Does it have to be with your friends? Ted, um, can you handle the drinks? I think so. It's a pretty name. Allison. It's very, uh, very lyrical. Allison. What's yours? Dave. It's not quite as lyrical. Same with the last name, Babe. Dave, Dave Bay. Bay. I like that. It's uh, short, simple. The name, not you. You're tall and complicated. What makes you say that? Well, you are tall. I mean the complicated part. Because you had me buying the Australian thing and then all of a sudden you just dropped it? I didn't like the fact that you were buying it. Although, actually, I did live in Australia for a while as a kid. My dad was uh, an ambassador. Oh, so you want me to buy this one? He really was. Really? Ambassador. So how long were we there for? Not long. My parents were killed. Small plane. Oh, I'm sorry. No, was, I was sent back to the States to the foster parents. And how was that? They were great. I took their name. Babe. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, you know what? Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. There you are. Come on, Allison. We're going to hit some other spots. Well, yeah, we should go to the sure. other I think I'm going to stay a while. Uh, okay, sure. I got my car. Let me make a quick phone call. Okay. 
I got my hands on two F-14 Tomcats. That's what they've been wanting. No, don't say a thing. It'd be my little surprise. Yeah, I'm at the base, but uh, I'll be unreachable the rest of the night. We're in the middle of a training exercise. Okay. My parents are still married, 41 years. Three brothers, three sisters. All of us close enough to make Norman Rockwell gag. Yeah, sounds nice. I miss not having family. <laughs> what about your foster family? No, no, they're gone to us. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Here I am going on about my wonderful no, family and everything. No. I like you. There's a downside to all that family stuff, too, you know. Like, um, fortuning Christmas presents. And everyone asking, why aren't you married? Why aren't you married? I knew you were going to ask that. I retract that. the question. <laughs> why aren't you married? Because of my work. You're a priest. <laughs> I work for the government. I'm part of the military. What I do is... It's dangerous and secret. And to be good at it, you have to be alone with no one to care about and no one caring about you. So I guess you can't tell me where you live either, huh? I don't live in any one place. And I'm going to be leaving here tomorrow. And I can't tell you where I'm going. I can be completely open with you because I think you're great. And tonight's one of the nicest nights I've had ever. <laughs> but uh, the weird as this might sound, it's for your own good that you know as little about my current circumstances as possible. But we have the rest of the night. <sighs> Dave, tonight, tonight's been real nice for me too. You're a very attractive, interesting guy, but I, I don't want a one night kind of thing. You know what I mean? I mean, I've done it. I, I don't need to go there again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think you're hot. Shoot me. <laughs> I just don't want to leave yet. Can we just hang out a while? Sure. if you fall into enemy hands. After 48 hours, any information you possess will become obsolete. The enemy knows that. They will do anything to break you in those first hours. Your lungs will fill with water. Your captors may not know the fine line between life and death. Maybe you'll drown. <coughs> Sir, you okay, sir? 
Sir, move if you're okay, sir! I think we drowned him. Control. So, how'd it go with the crocodile Dundee wannabe? Fine. Your sister Patty's on the phone. Line one. Hello. Hi. Have you gotten a present for Dad yet? Oh, that's right. It's Dad's birthday. I knew you'd forget. Wanna shop together? Yeah, at the places you shop, I can't even afford to browse. Oh, I'll cut the self-sufficient crap. I'll pay, okay? I'll leave him by lunch. I could eat. I have been thinking about him all the weekend. I can't get him out of my mind. Why am I doing this to myself? I don't know. He kind of got me thinking about him, and I didn't even meet him. It's like a schoolgirl crush. I mean, I didn't even have crushes when I was a schoolgirl. And over what? Some guy who's probably just looking for a little action on Halloween. The way you described him? Mm. He sounds like James Bond, played by Mel Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is definitely attractive. But you know, I'll bet everything was a load of crap. Mm -hmm. A pickup line. Probably parks cars somewhere. Well, whoever he is, maybe he can't get you off his mind either. Meaning what? Meaning that you might hear from him again. Meaning that you better decide how you feel about him before that happens. Well, how can I do that if I don't even know who he is? There's a couple of references to his name. You look in this volume, I'll look in the other one. Oh, hell. What? Rescued two English pilots. Icelandic glacier, extensive bravery, blah, blah, blah. Decorated by the president and the prime minister of England. He's a real hero. There's another reference in this one. No, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. God, I feel like such an idiot. <sighs> yeah, right, Patty. He's off somewhere thinking about me. As he's having a wild affair with a beautiful girl in some exotic place. You. I was going a week. I brought back the F-14s they wanted. They'd rather have you here. So would I. You won the Commandant's Award and I get to read it in a posted notice. Why didn't you tell me you bum? training. It's an award for training. Hey, this is the action, Bill. Yeah, yeah. I feel like... Some old man who's teaching something he's too dried up to do himself. Come on, Dave. You're still part of the most elite unit in the Air Force. I mean, Cindy figured the dead heroes don't make very good dads. Is that a hard one to understand? I did everything she wanted me to do, and it's still not enough. Now she doesn't even want me conducting training exercises away from the base. She wants me to cage. And that's where I am. I swear, I, got, I feel like I gotta bust out or die. You got a wife who lives for you, pal. You got a great. I mean, people never appreciate it when they got a great. Hello. Hello, cowboy. Dave. I've been thinking about you. Where are you? Oh, I'm sorry. You probably can't tell me that. Right. Sorry. Well, I, I didn't expect to hear from you. I didn't expect it either, to be honest with you. But uh, I can't stop thinking about you. Oh, well, what are we going to do about that? We're going to have me come there. I just have to work it out. But I will work it out. It's a two-week course in underwater demolition. I think you'd be able to teach them a thing or two. Uh, there'll be instructors there from Russia, China for the first time. Could be invaluable. All right. Well, I've never had reason to question your judgment before. If it's useful to you, make your arrangements and go.
This feels right. We've been together forever. So you're here. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, I'm not sure. It's something we're gonna have to find out. You know, this is my birthday. Someone's supposed to be cooking for me. Oh, don't let him kid you. He'd stab anybody who touched his precious barbecue. Dave, how do you like your steak? I'm a vampire, sir. I like mine pretty bloody. I'm right after my own heart. So, uh, Allison uh, tells us that you're into some hush-hush uh, government Dad, doings. Dad, steak, not Dave. Just making conversation, princess. That's all right. It's his job. He's a dad. Yes, sir. Um, all I can tell you is I'm proud of what I do. And if you knew more, you... You wouldn't think less of me. Impressive answer. Well spoken. He's uh, kind of perfect. What are you thinking? I was thinking how the past few days I've never been happier. I'm happy. I want to stay happy. Well, if there's anything I can do to help... You could marry me. Marry me. I know it's not supposed to happen this fast. But, but it did. You too, huh? Mm hmm Okay, so let's do it. Let's get married. I don't... I don't know. I don't know who I'd be marrying. Um, a man who vanishes and then reappears, no questions allowed. I, I don't think I can handle that. You won't have to. My stint is almost over. I'm going to be a full-fledged four-star civilian. When? Soon. Soon. And then what will you do? Come back here, sit on the porch, get old with you. Power jump for training these majors shaping up. I'm putting you in full charge. I want you to analyze the weaknesses and implement any necessary changes. As always, I trust your judgment. I've been doing a lot of thinking about my life, my career. I'm not sure this is what I'm meant to be doing. For God's sake, Dave, you're the best there is. That's reason enough to keep doing it. I don't want to hear this kind of crap from you again. No, sir. something from the fridge? Yeah. Uh, the boys are wanting a dog. 
I said I'd ask you. Okay, sure. Good. Go, tell him. I love hearing it from you. Turn on the sprinklers. Sure. Mm. Yes? Way to go over here. Current's moving pretty swift. Let's get some dispatch boats in now. Unit three, dispatch unit three, dispatch unit three, what's the 20? This is three, we're just pulling up, we're seeing now. Right. Dispatch, notify air rescue, we're gonna need some more units out here. Okay, come on, let's dig in. Uh, 
Rescue One, this is ground. Uh, you got any visual at all up there? We got nothing at all, Sarge. I'm hovering around 300 feet, gonna slide on downstream, see if I can get any more visual. What's well, pretty murky. Okay, can you bring it down a little bit lower and, and just take a little slower look? We gotta find this guy. 10 4. Yeah, I'm sure it's a oh. Just wait for me. Where's your stuff? I just showed you my stuff. Oh, stop it. You know what I mean. <laughs> well, I, uh, I can't get my gear or my pay till I'm debriefed. They owe me a huge chunk of back pay and all my severance, but I wanted to see you, so I came here first. So you're going away again? No, not till I feel like it. I told you, my stint is over. I can do what I want. They'll debrief me at my convenience. So, you've got no job, no money, no home. No clothes? Yeah. Yeah, that's about the size of it. And you did this for me? I did it for us. Well, that's what I meant. Oh, boy. <laughs> I thought you wanted me if I didn't have to disappear, if you could know where I am. I did, I, I do. I do. Okay, then. No regrets? No regrets. Allison, you have got a slew of phone calls to return, and there are clients coming in. Listen, Ted, anything you can handle, just handle without me and reschedule everything else. For this afternoon? No, I'm not going to come in today. It's pretty crazy in here, Allison. Can't you at least come in? No, for I can't. Got it? Got it. Okay. I like that. It's nice you'll finally be able to settle down in one place. So what are your plans now that you're uh, out of the service? I don't know. It's been a while since I've been out there in the real world. Well, as I see it, real estate's on the upswing. There's uh, good money to be made buying old houses, fixing them up, and reselling them. <laughs> Mom and I renovated a couple of fixer-uppers during the last boom. We started out just for fun, but uh, ended up with a tidy profit. If the idea appeals to you, you might be able to ride this market while it's strong. A uh, thing like that, uh, you need to spend money to make money. I gotta wait for my funds to come in. Look, Dave, uh, I got a pretty strong line of credit at the bank. I could loan you enough to make a real start. A hundred thousand, say. You can repay me with your profits or your back pay, whichever comes in first. That's, uh, that's incredibly generous, sir. I love my daughter. My daughter loves you. As long as that remains the case, I want to do right by both of you. Looks like he went along with Daddy's proposal. Uh. 
He's given up everything for me. I don't know, I feel really weird about this. Honey, that's the kind of romance most girls dream about. Oh, Mom, I'm not most girls. Allison, are you marrying Dave because you think you got yourself into something you can't get out of? No. I love Dave. I love what I know about him. I, I mean, it's not like I know that much about him. Daddy and I have been married for 41 years. We're still learning about each other. Mm. Imagine how dull it would be if you knew everything there was to know. When I become a mother, am I going to say stuff like that? Yes. <laughs> I'm thinking about something. It occurred to me that the unit that I was in, I mean, you know, we were involved with some anti-terrorist operations. We had dealings with drug lords, people who tend to hold a grudge. You know? Meaning what? There are lives from danger? No, no. What? There's not going to be any ninjas busting in here in the next <laughs> oh, five minutes, but I do think that obscurity mm -hmm. is not a bad idea right now. That's why <sighs> I want to start using my real last name, my parents' name, Haywood. Haywood? Yeah. Dave Haywood. Dave and Allison Haywood. Mm. Can you explain that to your family so, you know, we're all on the same page? Oh, yeah. Well, we're good at keeping secrets. My father had the whole family swear never to reveal I campaigned for Dukakis. heart, body, and mind is intended for their mutual comfort and help, that they may know each other with delight and tenderness in acts of love. In marriage, husband and wife give themselves to each other to care for each other in good times and in bad. They are linked to each other's families, and they begin a new life together in the community. I, David, take you, Allison, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse. I, David, take you, Allison, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse. For richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. Richer, poorer, in sickness and in health. This flag is presented on behalf of a grateful nation. I, Allison, take you, David, to be my husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward. And as a token of our appreciation for the honorable and faithful services rendered by your loved one. Allison, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow with all that I am and all that I have. I honor you in the name of God. Honor guard! some stuff to photocopy and uh, then you can show me that house, okay? Okay. What do you think? As long as nobody huffs and puffs. Hey, rip these up, put a new floor. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need some new cupboards in here. Needs a new kitchen. Well, the price is right. I mean, at least it sounds right, but this is all new to me. You're awfully anxious to get cracking on this renovation yeah, thing, aren't you? Yeah, I am. For you, for us, for your dad. But you know more about this than I do, so uh, I'm going to need your help. That's for sure. Oh. <laughs> well, you're right. It is well-priced. All right! <laughs> 
You know, Al, if you could take one more week off, we'd be done here. I can't, Dave. I feel guilty enough already. Hi. Yep. Is this house on the market? Well, eventually. You want to take a look? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Honey, what do you think? Well, it's not, uh, it's not finished yeah, yet. Yeah, it's, it's not finished. Well, we're just looking for a starter, and, uh, I mean, we've really had our hearts set on this neighborhood, but looking around, and can we make an offer? You know, we've gotten a lot of offers lately, and uh, we decided that we wanted to finish and get top dollar. If you call us tonight, uh, maybe we could make a deal. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give you a call. Oh, great. Great. Yeah. It's all right. Good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yeah. That was easy. <laughs> very, very slick. <laughs> You're good. No, 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 no. We're good. Heads up. You realize what we could do if we did this right? I mean, really did it all the way? We could make a killing. You pay your dad back tenfold? We could have it all, cowboy. Everything you ever want. This will be fine. You're making a big mistake, Allison. Good luck, Allison. Bye bye. 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 Uh, Allison, you put five years in this place. This place is you. I'm gonna miss you. Bye, guys. Bye. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Miss you. Like you know what you're doing. I've done it before. Oh yeah? Where? Some covert military lawn care system? Yeah. Trading sprinklers for hostages. Hmm. So whose car is that? Ours. We made a nice chunk of change on that house. Dave, we're supposed to be paying Dad back. I've been paying him. He's not expecting the whole thing back overnight. Yeah, I know, but we should be saving not spending. Al, Al, we're not retired. We're just starting, okay? Let's enjoy ourselves along the way. We should be saving for our kid. What? What? I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> bed we're selling instead of buying. No, I don't get it. We're doing beautiful work, busting our butts. We're listing at a loss, practically. David, the market is down. When you spend so much on renovation, you face the law of diminishing returns. Well, yeah, yeah, I've, uh, I've been hearing about that. <sighs> well, the bank's gonna own this in a few days. I just hope they appreciate good craftsmanship. Well, open house is over. I gotta get going. Okay, all right, see you. See you, Allison. Bye, Travis. Bye, Christopher. We sold five houses in nine months. It's not like I we know, tanked you, okay? I know. All right. What is it? Open it. Open it and see. Hmm. I'll trade it. Dave. Here. Give me it. Give me a big boy. Come on. Ah. Uh, like it? It's beautiful, but why? It's uh, Millard Fillmore's birthday today. We just celebrated Grover Cleveland's birthday. So what? You gotta stop buying me stuff. I can't right? help it. We are juggling three mortgages. We have to be What's... careful with our money. Relax. Okay. I mean, once you resolve whatever you have to with the government, you get your back pay, then hey, we can you, you gonna put that on? Huh? Go ahead. Okay. See? Mm -hmm. Looks great, It's right? beautiful. Don't sweat this monster. Mm -hmm. He's not worried. <laughs> he's so quiet. Marcus was really cranky at this. Oh, he's plenty cranky. He just has good party manners, like his dad. What does that mean? It means what it means. All right, Allison, what's wrong? Nothing. Something's wrong. Come Nothing on, is tell wrong. Me. What is it, Allison? It's not a big deal. It's just. I I think we're a little in over our heads financially, and with the baby and all, I, I let Dave take over the books. You know I don't like doing that kind of stuff anyway, so Look, I... this is not exactly news, sweetie. Look, I know, you've barely been scraping by. 
Dave explained it to Dad. Dad's been very good about it. Hasn't pressed him about the loan. The loan? Look, we know he'll pay it back when he can. We're just happy that he's so good to you, and we all like him so much. That's why you're lucky. Dave shoots a 71. Dirty oh. bomb. We're playing five <laughs> bucks a hole. Uh, Patty, give me a couple twenties. Mom, do Dave. you mind taking care of Christopher tonight? <laughs> Sherry. Thanks, honey. I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to know how badly I messed up our finances. You didn't right, not tell me you lied. You said you'd been paying Dad back and you I lied I was afraid to me. that you would lose respect for me. Oh, well, you were right about that. Knock it off! Stop it! I'm trying to make you happy. What more do you want? I gave up everything for you. I didn't ask you to give up anything for me. You know, if you're having regrets, I don't know what to do. No regrets. I remember. I'm not sure how you're going to take this, but I got word I can collect my back pay and severance. Well, why would I have a problem with that? Because it means going for that debriefing I never went for. Where would you go? I can't tell you that. The good news is it'll get us out of this bind. You're not volunteering for something... Uh, something dangerous? No. No, that's the old days. Mm -hmm. But I would do anything for you. You know that? <sighs> anything to make you happy.
Tomorrow, more sunshine and slightly warmer temperatures. What are you doing here? You call the machine? No. You stop by the apartment? Uh-uh. Well, if you did, you'd know what I'm doing here. What are you doing here? I just kind of blew in. Mm. Want to take a shower, change, look nice for you? <laughs> I'm kind of stinky. Mm, can't argue with that one. Mm. Well, I decided, well, I thought that we'd move in here and save on rent while we're renovating. Just brought the essentials. Everything else is divided between mom and dad's and Patty's. So you've been busy, huh? Mm hmm. So have I. <laughs> That's only part of it. The bastards only gave me a fraction. Dave! Come on, give me a hand. It's wet. Yeah, tell me about it. Not only do they short me on the amount, but when they give me directions where to find it, I had to take a little swim. What do you mean, find it? I... How come they didn't give you a check? A check? A check? Yeah. Checks can be traced. Bank accounts scrutinized. This is part of a government that doesn't officially exist. They give me directions, and I follow coordinates, and what do you know? It's at the middle of a lake, 20 feet deep. They send me a little message. You know, you want to get out of the outfit, Dave? You want to get paid? Well, die for it, screwball. Let's see how good you are, you know. <laughs> I'm good enough. <laughs> These are the guys that work for our government. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. going to miss them. No? Oh. Not a bit. Oh, it feels so unreal. I can't... There's over $40,000 here. Is that real enough for you? Uh-huh. We're going to pay back Dad first, right? Mm-hmm. some fast food and a few bucks down a slot machine. Why bother coming? Look, most of it went towards paying off your dad and our creditors. We got a right to splurge with the little we got left. I risk my neck for every dollar of this money. I'm sorry, you're right. You're right. Nice. Mm. Hi. I'll tell you what, why don't you sit back, relax, and enjoy this a while. I'm gonna head up to the room. Make a couple of business calls. I got a couple of leads, but I don't want to lose them just because we're on vacation. Okay, don't be too long now, though. I might get really drunk and start taking off all my clothes. Oh, I'll be back in time for that.
Yes, you did. It's okay, I'm going to my room anyway. Secret gambling habit, huh? What next? That money was supposed to go towards paying it back will. Dad. I couldn't do it yet. I couldn't tell you. Well, couldn't you tell me? What lie could you me? You know the world I came from. It's not a game. What I don't tell you, I don't tell you because it's dangerous. They paid me with dirty money, okay? That's how covert operations are financed. Confiscated drug money pays for a lot of things our government has to do. I'm turning around this money so there is no risk of your father being tainted in any way. Now, we can stand here and argue about it, or you can help me. It really doesn't matter. But I gotta keep doing this until I'm done. Um, let's get a drink first. I don't want a drink. Come on. Thank you. I think you'd want to keep a clear head for what you're doing. You know what? You're right. As soon as I'm done here, we're going home. Come on. You want me to come along? No, no, I won't screw it up twice.
Hey, I got word today. I can get another chunk of my back pay, maybe all of it, but uh, it means taking part in a mission. What kind of mission? Well, it's not exactly what I call dangerous, but it just it, it might take a while, that's all. How long? Two weeks. Maybe three. Do you want your dad paid back in full, us out of debt, free and clear, yes. our lives back together? Yes. Okay, then. Dave, look, whatever it is you're doing, I know you're doing for me, but... What? Well, you got to know that you're what matters to me, you. I don't want anything to happen to you. What I'm doing, I'm doing for us. Remember that. Trust it. I was shopping for myself. What's one extra bag? It's not like I'm homeless or anything. Yeah, but I bet you don't have anything worth eating around here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I got you that lemon chicken. Mm -hmm. that you like so much the time you were over? Well, gee, the place is looking real good. Real good. All right, Patty, I know you're dying to ask. No, I haven't heard from Dave yet, and I'm... Oh, I'm really beginning to freak out about this. Why? Well, I don't. I, th I think you might be involved in something... Really what? ...bad. Rogue, CIA, Oliver North kind of thing. Well, he might be. <clears throat> uh, he might be, just uh, more than you think. What are you saying? Nothing. Nothing. Patty! Jerry made me promise not to tell you, so don't tell him I told you. Tell me. Dave borrowed $20,000 from Jerry um, several months ago, and um, he hasn't paid back a dime. Why didn't you tell me this? Anyway, you know, Jerry's sort of considered it a write-off at this point. Oh, no. Go in the back. In the back! Clear it out. Let's go. Hurry up. Move it! I said head down! Big bills, nothing under 20. Hurry up. Hurry up! Move it, let's go! I said heads down! Okay, that's it. That's it, all right, bring it to me. Come on, right here. No, please. please. On the ground. Don't, don't. Shut up! Come on, you, you, let's go. Come on, grab it. All the way in the back. See there? Come. Open it up. I'd like to get a safety deposit box. Are you a customer? No. Do I have to be? No. Just uh, fill out this form. Thank you. It's me. I need your help with something. Would it bother you if I smoke? Well, if it did, I shouldn't be in a bar.
Thanks. They booked me into a non-smoking room, then told me I couldn't smoke in the lobby, so here I am. What about you? What about me what? Alone in a hotel bar. They booked me into a non-drinking room? <laughs> I don't know. Well, are, are you here on business? Or? No, I'm just, uh, just passing through. What about you? I'm a sales rep for a clothing line. It, it involves a lot of travel. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, it's an adventure. When you're divorced with no kids, adventure's a pretty good trade-off. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that way. I have to feel that way for what I do. Which is? I work for the government. What I do is uh, secret and dangerous, but I, I, I love it. I love the action, love the pay. Sometimes it's lonely, but like you said, it's, uh, it's a trade-off. I have a fully stocked minibar in my room. I could give up smoking for the rest of the night. I was feeding you a line. I'm a jerk. A married jerk who uh, fixes old houses and loses money doing it. Somehow I have a harder time believing that. Me too. Good night. Good night. I've got to get into my safety deposit box. OK, I'll just need your name and your number. Haywood, 3334. Okay. And just sign right mm -hmm. there. Thank you. You can look at this in a cubicle out there. to rent a box, but I'm not sure what size. All right, well, these are the different sizes of boxes that we have. So what's the difference in price there? Purpose for entering Mexico? Tourist. And uh, for how long? Until you run out of tequila. Smith that mom and dad used to go to because I figured that he wouldn't be suspicious. Well, he was a little, I think. I, but I got it. Now be careful this time. I know the routine. I'll just be a few minutes.
Patty, I don't know what's true, what's not true. Dave Bay is a name he was born with in Illinois to parents that, well, he always told me were foster parents, which means he made up half the stuff about his childhood. So what? People do that all the time. There's more, there's more. The woman in the photograph, the, uh, the foster mother turned mother, she was supposed to have died when Dave was in high school. Mm -hmm. But in the photograph, he's already in an Air Force uniform, which means that she didn't die when he said. Meaning she still might be alive. You're getting ahead no, of me God, here. No, you're taking too long. No, Cut to the I'm chase. trying, OK. According to his birth certificate, he was born in Rockford, Illinois. And the picture was taken in front of Rockford Public Library. Now, I had remembered that the, the mother was a, a librarian or something. So I, I gave it a shot, and I called the library. Oh, didn't. Mm -hmm. Carolyn Bay, beloved librarian for 25 years, is now retired, not deceased, and living in Portland. Portland. So do you think Dave knows? Stupid question, of course, Dave. The question is, now that I know, what am I going to do about All it? Right. All right, come on, let's go sit down. All right. <clears throat> How does Dave's childhood, his relationship with his parents, all that stuff, how does that affect you? Well, it doesn't directly, then but... it's none of your business. Patty, how can you say that? I have accepted Dave as a man of mystery who can only tell me certain things. But I didn't know he was lying about the things he was telling me. I mean, what else is a lie? I can't trust him. He lied about his childhood. That's it. So what? It's who he grew up to be that matters. And he grew up to be honored by the President of the United States mm -hmm. and the Prime Minister of England. Come on, sweetie, you saw the pictures. It's over. I'm finished with those guys. For good. You get your money? Oh, yeah? Yeah, some. Mm. Enough. Come on, I'll show you. At least it's not wet. I didn't want to go back to Vegas, so I made other arrangements. Come here, I want to show you. What? Close your eyes and hold out your hand. What now? Close your eyes and hold out your hand. Mexican gold pesos, $450 each. Where did you get this? From the unit. It's just that they pay me in gold, and they did. And where did they get it? Well, they're very enterprising. Now we can pay your dad back in full, get out of debt, maybe take a nice little trip somewhere. What's your dream vacation? I don't believe in dreaming. What aren't you saying? What aren't you saying? What are the things you haven't told me, Dave? I want to know. I'll tell you. I will, when it's safer. And when will that be? And safe from what, Dave? If you're in some kind of trouble, let me help you. You can trust me. You know that. You can. I've been trained not to trust. Trust equals death. It's not easy battling that kind of conditioning, but I'll try. I want you to trust me so I can trust you. No. I'm tired. I want to take a shower. Maybe a nap. Mm -hmm. What do you think about dinner?
It's all right. I'll grab something on the road. Where are you going? I got to deal with this. It might take a while. How long a while? A day or two. I'll keep you posted. I love you, cowboy. Dave, what's happening? Tell me what's happening. I told you. You told me nothing. Always nothing. I want to know what you're doing, Dave. Tell me what you're doing. I'm going to do what I have to do. What city is it? Portland. The number for uh, Carolyn Bay, B A Y. Hold for a moment, please. Is this Mrs. Carolyn Bay? Mrs. Bay? Yes. Hi. I'm, my name is Allison Haywood. I'm a friend of your son, Dave. Um, he's told me so much about you. And he's always said, when I'm in Portland, that I should look you up, so. I'm sorry, uh, you are Dave's mom, aren't you? My dear, why do you keep talking about Dave as if he's alive? Excuse me? Maybe you better come inside. He's a friend of Dave's. How is it you didn't know? Oh, um, well, I... Uh, we've been a little out of touch. Oh, you poor thing. This must be a terrible shock. Shock. Yes. That's when Dave and Cindy met the Prime Minister. You know, Cindy, she's doing better now. They've been through so much, Cindy and the boys. Wife and children. You didn't know? You can't have known Dave very well. Dave was married before I moved to Portland. How could you know where I am, but not know about his family? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm having a hard time with this. I know your voice. You called yesterday for my address. Who are you? No, what do you want? I'm sorry. It's a mistake. Just go! I'm going. Sometimes, when I'm having a bad dream, I can wake myself up. I'll be, I'll be there in the dream and I'll tell myself. I don't want to be here anymore. And then I wake up. I 
can't seem to wake myself up from this one. Allison, I think we all have to face the fact that this nightmare mm. is not over. The question now is, what are we going to do about it? Well, that's easy. We nailed the bastard. I said he was crazy that very first day. Remember that? I said well, he was we crazy. We liked him. We all liked him. The whole world likes Dave. That's how he can take you and, and Jerry. And me. So what are you going to do? Allison, the guy could be nuts. Or, or dangerous. Oh, that's great, coming from you, the one who told me that it was none of my business, that, that I should just leave well, it all I'm alone, wrong. right? Okay, call the cops, call the military, call the other wife. This creep's got a lot to answer for. I think we may see the return of public executions. Patty, we're talking about that baby's father. We have to think very carefully before we act. Mm -hmm. Because once this genie's let out of the bottle, there'll be no putting it back. I should have known. He was trying to tell me. A few days before his uh, accident, he was feeling trapped. He wanted to get out. I didn't take him seriously. Maybe I could have helped him. Dave's a quitter who destroyed lives in the process. Let me tell you about this unit. We take the finest. We put them through the hardest training in the military, and we produce 200 of the world's best. They can go anywhere, do anything for one purpose, to save lives. All I know is he told me he resigned and that he was being debriefed and that he was getting his back pay you owed him. Owed him? We don't owe our men money. <sighs> I was grooming him to take over. He had everything going for him. I guess he didn't see it that way. I can't believe what he put them through. His mother, Cindy, the kids. I'm on that list somewhere. Yeah, I'm sorry, of course. So, 
He's run away again? Is that it? He's just disappeared? Before today, I could have told you with absolute certainty how any one of my men would have behaved in a given situation, but that's all gone to hell now. But you were right to come to us with this, because we're the ones who can deal with it. We don't leave our men out there, and we always clean up our own garbage. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, what are you... Oh, are you... Are you talking about taking him out? You've been watching too many movies. No. I want Dave to face charges in front of a court-martial. It's what he would want. I'd like to be put in charge of this operation, sir. Done. I want you to go back to California with Mrs... Um... Haywood. We go by the name of Haywood. Mrs. Haywood. Yes. If Dave does return to California, you'd better be ready for him. Remember, he taught evading capture. So you're gonna have to rely on sheer force and numbers. What are you doing here? I live here. Hey, Christopher. How you doing, buddy? You miss me? Sure. You looking for this? They must be close by. The signal has a short range. Who did they send? My old friend, Bill. Bill prefers this model. You think I'm gonna hurt you? Oh, you've hurt me already, Dave. I loved you, Allison. Still do. Always will. Why? Why did you betray me? Betray you? You have betrayed everyone who has ever loved you. What are you talking about? Not you. I've never betrayed you. Oh, I can't believe that you actually believe that. Oh, I do. Well, then you're crazier than I thought. We could have had it all. I just wanted us to be happy. Let go of no, me. No, not till you say go. you believe it. Believe? No, say what? You believe. What am I supposed to believe, babe? I love you. All of this was because I love you. Love me? <laughs> you loved me. Someday you're going to understand that. Oh, no, I don't think so, Dave. No. It is Bill, isn't it? Good. Capture one leader to capture ground. We are airborne, over. Capture one leader, this is the Captain Ground. Can you give me an ETA, sir? Over. Roger, capture ground.
Tell me one thing. The money, the white cash, the pesos. Where'd you get it? I robbed banks. I robbed banks. Do me a favor. Tell Chris his dad was a hero once, okay? He really was a hero.